or hi. Malaysia, the state in Southeast Asia, two piece, divided by the South China Sea. The Western Malaysia. The traditional name, Malaya. Occupies the southernmost tip of the Malay Peninsula with adjacent islands, borders on Thailand in the north, has also sea borders with Singapore and Indonesia. East Malaysia. The traditional name Sabah and Sarawak occupies a northern part of the island of Kalimantan with adjacent islands, borders on Brunei in the north and on Indonesia in the south, has also sea border with Philippines. 60% of the population are made by Malayans who according to the legislation of the country have special privileges in business, the fields of education and in public service. It is considered that the name Malay came from the Sanskrit words Malaya or Malayadvipa that it is possible to translate as Highland. This word was mentioned by the Indian dealers in relation to the Malay Peninsula. According to other version the name came from the Tamil word Malay mountain. The French seafarer Jules Dumont d'Urville after the expedition to Oceania in 1826 suggested to use the names Malaysia, Micronesia and Melanesia to designate groups of islands separately from Polynesia. In 1831 he offered these names to the French Geographical Society. Malaysia Dumont d'Urville nominated the territory known as East Indies. In 1850 the English ethnologist George Samuel Windsor wrote to Journal of the Indian Archipelago in Eastern Asia, offering Melayunesia or Indonesia's names for the islands of Southeast Asia. In 1957 the Malayan Federation including states on the Malay Peninsula declared the independence. The name Malaysia was accepted in 1963 when joined Federation Singapore, Northern Borneo and Sarawak. Thus, the particle was added to the name in honor of accession of three states. Before the name Malaysia was applied in relation to all Malay archipelago. Malaysia represents elective federal constitutional monarchy which consists of 13 states, territorial subjects of the federation, states, and three federal territories. The 11 states and two federal territories are located on the Malakski Peninsula and two states, Sabah and Sarawak, on the island of Kalimantan and one federal territory, Labuan at its northwest coast. Nine states are monarchy. Seven of them are headed by sultans. The governor of the state of Negri Sembilan carries a traditional Malayan title Yang di Perchun Basar. The governor of the state of Perlis carries a title di Raya. In monarchic states the chief executive is the chief minister. Mentor. Each governor is also spiritual head of the state. Other four states are headed by the governors appointed by the central government. Executive power in each of these four states is also headed by the chief minister called in Malayan a Ketchu of Amantara. Federal territories are operated by directly central government. Each five years nine monarchs choose from the environment the supreme governor. In Malayan, Yang Di Perchun Agon. And his assistant deputy, as a rule, for reasons of seniority or duration of board. The supreme governor and sultans perform, mainly, representative functions, but all laws and the amendments made to the constitution are subject to their statement. The main functions of public administration are performed by the Parliament and the Cabinet headed by the Federal Prime Minister. The Parliament of Malaysia consists of two chambers. 
lower the Houses of Representatives and top the Senate. The House of Representatives is elected by a direct general election. The Senate consists of the elected dicks. On two from each state. And the dicks appointed by the Supreme Governor according to the recommendation of the government. Executive power belongs to the federal government headed by the Prime Minister who is party leader, won elections to the House of Representatives. All ministers have to be members of parliament, that is win elections. In Malaysia religious freedom is proclaimed, but official religion is Islam which is practised by 60% of the population. Muslims solve the questions connected with divorce and inheritance in Sharia courts, and secular courts have no right of revision of their decisions. Prime Ministers of Malaysia 1963-1970 Abdul Rahman 1970-1976 Abdul Razak 1976-1981 Hussein An 1981-2003 Mahathir Muhammad 2003-2009 Abdullah Ahmed Badavi 2009-2018 Najib Tun Razak 2018-2020 Mahathir Muhammad 2020. Makidan Yassin. After Great Britain was forced to provide to the Malayan Federation independence the Constitutional Commission which started preparation of the fundamental law of the Malayan state in the work was guided by the Memorandum of Allied Party on the constitutional questions which suggested to create an exchange for providing nationality to non-Malayan special situation to aboriginal of the country. This memorandum is called an intercommunal compromise. Actually it was reached at the level of the topmost sectors of society and didn't reflect the interests of the main groups of national communities. The constitution came into force in day of declaration of independence of the Malayan Federation on August 31, 1957. In 1963 in connection with formation of Federation of Malaysia editions. The Act of Malaysia. Were made to her. He didn't change a being of the constitution which still combines the ideas of the Western democracy and the principles of providing the special rights of indigenous people of the country. The court has rights to interpret the constitution and laws, to declare federal laws and laws of states invalid if they don't correspond to the constitution or federal laws or if they are out of cognizance of federal parliament or legislative assembly. Parliament of the state to declare illegal these or those actions of the government. The constitution provided the supreme court of the country, the supreme court of Malaya for the Western Malaysia and the Supreme Court of Borneo for East Malaysia. The inferior courts are defined by the federal law. The inferior court has conciliatory character. He is engaged in the disputes which aren't exceeding in financial calculation the 50th ring and has the right to impose a penalty within the 25th A ring. It is founded only in the Western Malaysia. Courts for minor persons under 18. In case of recognition of the minor by the guilty person, send him to corrective labor colony where he studies and studies craft till 21 year. Malaysia is located in Southeast Asia. The territory of the state consists of two parts. Peninsula. Malay Peninsula. And the East. In northern part of the island of Kalimantan. Which are divided by the South China Sea. The area of Malaysia is 329,847 km. The 65th place in the world. 
a peninsular part borders on Thailand in the north and on Singapore in the south, and east, on Indonesia in the south and Brunei in the north. Besides, Malaysia is connected by a narrow dam to Singapore. Sea borders are available also with Vietnam and Philippines. Cape Pia on the southernmost tip of the Malay Peninsula is the most southern point of all continental Eurasia. The peninsular part of the country is separated from the island of Sumatra Strait of Malacca which is one of the major maritime routes in the world. Peninsular part makes about 39. 7% of the total area of Malaysia and stretches for 740 came from the north on the south and on 322 came from the west on the east. In the widest place. Through the central part of the peninsula there passes ridge to Tivangsa. The highest point of the peninsula, Mount Gunung Takan. 2187M above sea level. The coastline of a peninsular part of the country makes 1931 came. Comfortable bays are available only on the western coast. East part of the country makes 60.3% of total area, has the coastline 2607 came long. Between states Saravak and Sabah passes Ridge Croker, where there is the highest point of the country, Mount Kinabalu. 4095 M. Ridges extend also along border with Indonesia. A set of the islands belonging to Malaysia, the largest of which is Bangui, is located between two parts of the country. Malaysia is characterized by dense river network, however because of the small sizes and location of the territory of the country of the large rivers in Malaysia is in present. The rivers are deep for all year. During a rainy season the level sharply and considerably increases that quite often leads to floods in a number of areas. The longest river of the country is the Radzong which is proceeding in the state of Saravak and having length 760 km. The second longest river, Kinabatangan, of 560 km, proceeding in the state of Sabak. The longest river of a peninsular part of the country, Pakhang, of 435 came. The largest freshwater lake of the country, Bor, is in the southwest of the state Pakhang. Repair the second largest lake. Tosik Chini is in the central part of the state Pakhang, its area is 50-26 hectares. The largest reservoir of Malaysia, Keener, of 260 km. Located in the state of Trangganu. It resulted from construction of a dam of the hydroelectric power station, largest in the country. Red yellow ferrolitni soils, in valley and on the coasts, alluvial are characteristic of the most part of the country. Alluvial soils are quite fertile whereas ferrolitni don't differ in high efficiency because of the severe erosion caused by plentiful rainfall. Besides, the high acidity, rough texture and the low maintenance of a humus are characteristic of soils of the country. The southeast of the state of Sobek where initial substance from which soils are created is based on volcanic products differs in the most fertile soils. In many regions of the country of the soil are exhausted because of continuous cultivation of the same cultures. Malaysia, the highland. Features of a geological structure of peninsular and east parts of the country strongly differ. The Mesozoic Sklatcha Toast is characteristic of the west of Malaysia. The Kenozoic Sklatcha Toast is characteristic of the east part of the country. There are large reserves of oil, tin, tungsten ore, bow, copper, iron. 
Besides, there are small fields of brown coal, titanium, manganese, antimony, gold, phosphorates. The most part of oil reserves is concentrated on the shelf of the state of Sabak. Fields of tin are, mainly, in the west of a peninsular part of the country and are stretched by a strip from border with Thailand to Singapore. Together with gold, tungsten, iron, niobium, tantalum, yttrium and other rare and rare earth metals meets here. In the central part of the Malay Peninsula there are insignificant deposits of gold, copper and zinc. In Saravaka, fields of antimony, gold, bow, iron. In Saba, copper and bow. In view of the fact that the country is located near the equator, the climate of Malaysia is characterized as equatorial, hot and damp for all year. Average annual temperature is about 27 C, and the annual level of rainfall, about 2500 M. Between climate of peninsula and east part of the country there are some differences which are caused mainly by the fact that continental air masses whereas on the east sea to a large extent have impacts on peninsular Malaysia. The country is in an area of coverage of two monsoons. Southwest Since the end of May on September And Northeast From November to March The Northeast monsoon brings more rainfall in comparison with Southwest, it originates in the territory of China and in the north of the Pacific Ocean. The Southwest monsoon originates in the territory of the deserts of Australia. The climate in the Sidic region of the country depends mainly on a relief, thus distinguished climate of heights, lowlands and coastal areas. The sunny weather with temperatures from 23 C to 32 C and rainfall from 100 to 300 May month is characteristic of coastal areas. Lowlands of the country have similar temperatures, however higher level of rainfall. Climate of heights more cool and more damp, with more significant changes in temperatures. The highest ever temperature recorded in Malaysia was noted in the town of Chuping of the state of Perlis on April 9, 1998 and made 40.1 C. Record-breaking low temperature was noted on the Hyde Cameron in the northwest of the state Pakhang on February 1, 1978 and was 7.8 C. The most large amount of rainfall in a day dropped out in Kotabaru on January 6, 1967 and was 608. The highest annual level of rainfall was noted in the city of Sandakan, the state of Sabak, in 2006. The most rainy place of the country, the city of Kuching, the state of Saravak, with average annual level of rainfall of and 247 days with rainfall in a year. The most droughty place, Chuping, the state of Perlis, with annual level a deposit of only 1746. In view of the large number of reservoirs and extremely high average level of rainfall exceeding 20 hundred for the majority of regions of the country, Malaysia quite often suffers from floods. Since 1926 in the country 15 large floods are noted. Floods in Jokor of 2006-2007 claimed the lives of 18 people and resulted in the damage estimated at 1.5 billion ringgit. About 110,000 people were temporarily evacuated. The territory of the country is seismically stable but in the territory of the country pushes from the earthquakes happening on the islands of Indonesia and Philippines can be felt. Malaysia, the country with the high level of a biodiversity and a large number of endemics. In the territory of the country about 20% of all animal species known in the world meet. 
especially higher level of an endemism is characteristic of the mountain woods of Kalimantan. In Malaysia about 210 species of mammals, 250 species of reptiles. From them about 150 species of snakes and 80 species of lizards. About 150 species of frogs and thousands of species of insects meet. In the territory of only one peninsular part of the country about 620 bird species meet. Two species of big cats are found in a peninsular part of the country. An Indochina tiger and a smoky leopard, and in east part, only a smoky leopard. From other mammals, the Malayan bear, a Sumatranski rhinoceros, a Chepachni tapir, Munts hockey, Indian, a boar, a bearded pig, an Asian elephant, etc. Meat. Such species of primaces as the Kalimantan orangutan are found, Muller's gibbon, macaques, nosyke, shubait tonkatik, a slow lorry, etc. Population of orangutans in East Malaysia makes about 11300 individuals. Population of the Malayan tiger. The subspecies of an Indochina tiger are endemic for a peninsular part of the country. Makes only about 500 individuals. Besides, in the western part of the country, there are about 1,200 elephants. About 58.2% of the territory of Malaysia are covered with the woods. Once all east part of the country was covered by the Bornean flat rainforests. In a peninsula part of the country there are about 8500 species of vascular plants whereas in east part about 15000 types. In an island part there are about 2000 species of trees and on one hectare of the wood can meet up to 240 different types of trees. In forests of the country the Raphalesia, the largest flower in the world which diameter can reach 1 meter meets. Serious problem for the environment of the country is deforestation which reasons deforestation and clearing of territories under agricultural grounds, mainly under plantations of an olive palm tree. Since 2000, Malaysia loses up to 140,200 hectares, 0.65% of the total forest area, of the woods annually. More than 80% of the woods of the state of Sarawak in the east of the country and more than 60% of the woods of peninsular Malaysia were so destroyed. Deforestation strongly affects unique fauna of the country which loses the natural habitats. The quantity of orangutans in Malaysia decreased approximately by 40% for the last 20 years, and Malaysian population of a Sumatranski rhinoceros probably disappeared absolutely. Also the number of birds rhinoceroses was considerably reduced. The most part of the modern woods is in borders of national parks. Other serious problems are illegal catching and illicit evacuation of animals and also recatch of fish and other representatives of sea fauna. Also pollution of internal and coastal waters industrial waste takes place. About 40% of the rivers of the country are strongly polluted. The cities of Malaysia produce on average 1.5 million tons of solid waste a year. A problem in the large cities is also strong air pollution. According to a census of 2010, the population of Malaysia makes 28,334,135 people. The 44th place in the world. Population density is averaged near by the 86th man slash came. 
the population is placed quite unevenly, so 79.6% of Malaysians live in a peninsular part of the country and only 20. 4% in east part. Urban population, about 70%. Annual gain is 2.4%. About 34% of the population of the country, persons are aged younger than 15 years. Malaysia differs in an ethnic variety. Residents of the country are called Malaysians. The most part of the population. About 62% as of 2010. Is made by the Austronesisti people famous here as a Bumiputra. The concept of a Bumiput includes Malayans who make a little more than a half of the population of the country. 50.1%. And also indigenous people living on these lands even before arrival of Malayans. About 11.8%. The indigenous people of the country is known under the general term Orangasli and includes a great number of ethnic groups. If in a peninsular part of the country they make only extremely small share of the population, then in the east. In states Sarawak and Sabah. They make the majority. The largest of these ethnic groups, Ibana, totals about 600,000 people. 30% of the population of the state of Sarawak. Other numerous indigenous people, total about 170,000 people and live in the southwest part of Sarawak. The second largest ethnic group of the country, Chinese. 22.6% of the population of Malaysia. The Chinese population is placed unevenly, so, the most Chinese cities of Malaysia, Idaripo and Kuala Lumpur, and the most Chinese state, Penang. 41% of the population of the state are made by Chinese. The third largest ethnic group, Indians. 9.1% The vast majority persons of the Tamil origin who together with Malal and Telugu make more than 83% of all Malaysian population of the Indian origin. Descendants of the Chinese and Indian immigrants are considered obliged to Malayans for providing nationality to them that is enshrined in Article 153 of the Constitution of Malaysia. Malayans have advantage at inclusion in the universities, a priority in obtaining licenses and the credits for business activity. In government of Malayans it had to be four times more than non-Malayans. Official language of Malaysia is Malayan. English historically. Up to the end of the 1968 years. Was de facto language of administration. Today English carries out an important role of the second language, is somewhat applied in education. Besides, the Malayan option of English is widely applied in business, along with them is often used, English with very strong influence Malayan and somewhat Chinese and Tamil. Languages of indigenous people which are mostly remotely related to Malayan are quite widespread in east part of the country. The most widespread of these languages of Abansky are numbering more than 600,000 carriers. The Malay and Chinese speak mainly various South Chinese dialects. Yushnaminsky, Cantonese, Ehaka, Hainan, etc. And also, to a lesser extent, on a Patanku. By Indians of the country it is used mainly to mill. Thieves of Malaysia speak the Malayan Sign Language and also on dying out Penang and Selangorski. 
the Constitution of Malaysia guarantees freedom of worship for non malayans Islam has the status of the state religion in the country. According to a census of 2010, Islam is practiced by about 61.3% of the population. The Buddhism minus 19.8%. Christianity minus 9.2% Hinduism minus 6.3% Confucianism, Taoism and other Chinese religions minus 1.3% 0.7% of the population reported about the irreligiousness and 1.4% the fact that they practice other religions or didn't give any information All ethnic Malayans are Muslims according to the constitution of the country. According to a census of 2010, most of the Chinese population of the country profess the Buddhism. 83.6%. 11% profess Christianity. 3.4% Taoism. Besides, there is a small community of Muslim Chinese. Among the Indian population of 86.2% profess Hinduism. 6% Christianity. 4. 1% Islam. The Christianity is widespread among indigenous people of the country. Or in Asla. Minus 46.5% are Christians. 40.4% Muslims From Christians are presented both Catholics and Protestants Among Protestants, Anglicans, Methodologists, Baptists, Adventists, followers of the Assemblies of God Education in Malaysia is controlled by two ministries Ministry of Education and Ministry of the Higher Education In spite of the fact that issues of education are an obligation of the federal government, each staff has the right to introduce some amendments in this area in the territory. The main legislation regulating education is the Education Act of 1996. An education can be got at the system of the public schools providing free education for all Malaysians at private schools or at home. Under the law, primary education is obligatory. Six years. The average step includes five years. The main language of education in the country is Malay and that is a key problem for many political groups. At the same time the elementary schools using as education language Chinese or Tamil remain. Till 1981 schools with use of English which number was reduced since 1970 by transition by Malay and remained until they completely disappeared by 1982. It calls discontent of the non-Malayan population of the country, mainly Chinese who oppose Malayan as they the main language of education and claim about infringement of their culture. The health care of Malaysia is under control of the Ministry of Health and includes two sectors. State and private. About 5% of all budget aimed at the development of the social sector go on health care. The government of the country plans to direct efforts to repair already existing and also construction and equipping of new hospitals, increase in number of polyclinics, increase in level of training of shots and development of telemedicine. The last several years it intensified the efforts on capital revision of all systems and attraction of foreign investments into this area. One of the main problems of health care of the country is the absence in rural areas of necessary number of the medical centers. Other problem is the shortage of highly qualified specialists. 
so attempts to send various medical equipment to the different cities were complicated by absence at personnel of necessary experience with this equipment. Thus, many types of medical care are available only in the large cities of Malaysia. Private clinics, unlike most state hospitals, are usually equipped with the most modern equipment. Malaysia differed in higher rates of economic growth. Some of the highest in Asia. With average annual gain of DDD about 6.5% for the period from 1957 to 2005. As of 2014, DDD of Malaysia was $336.9 billion in the 1978 years. The national economy, based mainly on the extracting industry and agriculture, begins transition to diversified economy. In the 1988 years, the industrial sector promptly grows. The important role in this growth was played by foreign investments. In 1997, the economy of Malaysia recovered from the Asian economic crisis much quicker than the economy of neighboring states. International trade, which is promoted by an important sea trade way through the Strait of Malacca and production, are the most important sectors of national economy. Malaysia, the large exporter of agricultural and natural resources, the most considerable of which is oil. The proved reserves of oil make about 4.3 billion barrels. The state oil company of Malaysia, Petronas. Once, the country was the largest producer of tin, natural rubber and palm oil. Malaysia, the developed center of Islamic banking. The science of the country is regulated by the Ministry of Science, Technologies and Innovations. Malaysia is the large exporter of electrical equipment and products of information and communication technologies. The first place in the world on production of electronic chips and household conditioners. Automotive industry. In the country there is a national proton brand develops. In 2002 the country started own space program for creation of independent defensive ability the government of the country continues to advance defense industry and its competitiveness. Since January 1, 2019 the minimum wage, uniform for the whole country, at a rate of 1100 ringgit. Dollar two hundred sixty seven point two two. A month was entered. Since February twenty twenty one, the minimum wage grew in areas sixteen city and forty municipal councils to rearm. Dollar two hundred ninety one point five one. In month and rearm. Dollar one. An hour while the minimum wage outside the listed areas remained the same in May Kriam. Dollar two hundred sixty seven point two two in month and rearm. Dollar one point two nine in hour. The aspiration of the Malaysian government to differentiate national economy doing it less dependent on export of goods and production, pushed him to tourism development. As a result, tourism became the third largest source of income from foreign currency and made 7% of national economy as of 2005. For 2009, Malaysia is in the ninth place in the list of the most visited countries, right after Germany. Nevertheless, existence and further development of tourism is under the threat of the negative consequences of industrial growth connected with deterioration in an ecological situation and an obozlasabeni.
the country attracts tourists with the national parks located mainly in east part of the country. Besides having the considerable length of the coastline, Malaysia is famous for untouched beaches and convenient locations for diving. Also large cities of the country combining modern, traditional and colonial architecture are interesting. North South Expressway, the toll highway passing through all peninsular part of the country from the north on the south. Malaysia has the extensive road network including came of highways from which 80280 came with a covering and came or highways expressways Plovnaya highway of the country has the extent of 966 came and connects the Thai border with Singapore the road network in a peninsular part of the country is developed much more better and has higher quality than in east part Malaysia has left-hand traffic. The railroads of Malaysia have the extent of 1849 came and connect the most part of the cities in a peninsular part of the country. The only railroad in East Malaysia, a branch 134 came long in the state of Sabak. The railroads of the country are connected with the systems of Singapore and Thailand. There is a high-speed railroad 57 came long connecting Kuala Lumpur to the airport. In the capital of the country also city easily rail transport is developed. In total in the territory of the country there are 58 airports, from them 37 are passenger. Eight airports of Malaysia have the status international, the most loaded from them, Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur International Airport. The second most loaded, the airport of Kota Kinabalu. Kota Kinabalu International Airport. The state-owned national airline of the country, Malaysia Airlines. The largest port of Malaysia, Klang located in 38 came to the southwest from Kuala Lumpur in the state of Selangor. Malaysia, the multinational and multilingual country. The initial culture of these lands comes from the culture of the indigenous people living here even before arrival of Malayans and also from the Malayans who came later. From the beginning of development of trade in the East important Chinese and Indians contributed to the culture of Malaysia. Also Persian, Arab and British influences are quite strong. In 1971 the government of the country announced national cultural policy, having defined Malaysian culture. It stated that Malaysian culture has to be based on the culture of indigenous people of the country. She can also include suitable elements of other cultures. In the culture of the country, Islam has to play an important role. It was declared also that Malay has to take more important positions than others. This intervention in culture from the state caused Massachusetts discontent from the non-Malayan population of the country which considered that their cultural freedom was reduced. Associations of Chinese and Indians provided to the government memorandums, having accused of not democratic cultural policy. Before emergence in the region of writing there were quite strong oral traditions which thrived also long after arrival of the letter of Aid Hava. The modified Arab alphabet. Which appeared in the territory of modern Malaysia with the arrival of Islam here at the end of the 15th century. The Indian Epos had a strong impact on oral traditions. Each Malayan Sultan created the own literary tradition based on the oral creativity and stories which came together with Islam from the territory of Persia and the Middle East. Emergence of publishing became an important point in development of literature. 
the poetry having here a set of the forms and genres was traditionally well developed. Before the beginning of the 19th century, the Malayan literature was mainly concentrated on stories about the royalty, subsequently the subject of works became broader. From the beginning of the 20th century, literature began to change sharply, reflecting social changes. One of the most famous early works, Malayan genealogies, are genealogies of sultans. Sulalatus Salatin was initially written in the 15th century, however the earliest versions which reached us are dated the 16th century. Hikaut Hang Tu is also one of the most famous works of the time. The main languages of Malaysian literature are Malayan, English and Chinese. In 1971, the government of the country took step for a definition of literature in different languages, so literature on Malayan began to be called National Literature of Malaysia, literature in other languages of Abumipute, regional literature in other languages, compound literature. Traditional Malaysian art is concentrated mainly on wood carving, weaving of baskets, and production of silver products. The traditional Malayan dagger kris with a curved asymmetric form of a blade is widely known. Painting, also characteristic of the region, on fabric, batik, and some other styles of dressing of fabrics is widespread. Production of wooden masks is traditional for the people of East Malaysia. The traditional jewelry is connected with decoration of silver and gold products different gemstones. In some regions of the country there are styles of painting of products from clay. Local art of statement have strong Indian influence. Throughout many centuries it is widespread, characteristic as well for other countries of the region, a shadow play wankulet. Plots of doll statements weighing are taken usually from Ramayana or the Mahabharata. Dolls are produced from cow or bivolavi skin and painted manually. Such statements as the dance of a dragon and dances of a lion executed usually on large holidays, such as Chinese New Year are traditional for the Chinese community of the country. Among modern artists Ibrahim Hussein, Said Tadzuddin, Abdul Gotha Bakari, Aries Aziz, Maslin of Nora Long, Grace Lim, Aquarialists Dara Abizul and Abdul Ghani Ahmed, the caricaturist Rasim this and also the artist in the equipment of Batik Mohammed Najib Ahmed of Dove. The architecture of the country is mixture of a set of styles, from traditional Indian and Chinese to brought by the European colonialists. Architectural traditions differ from the region to the region. Traditional materials for construction are wood, a bamboo and leaves. One horses and water villages on piles are characteristic of indigenous people of the east of the country. Traditional music is based mainly on percussion instruments, the most important of which is. In total there are at least 14 various types of drums. Other tools include stringed, a ceruling, a type of a flute, and other wind instruments. Different types of gongs are characteristic of the east of the country. Music was traditionally used during telling and also on various festivals. Malaysian cuisine reflects multi-ethnicity of her population. The set of cultures both the people of the country and the people of the neighboring regions influence kitchen. The main influences take the roots from the Malayan, Chinese, Indian, Thai, Javanese and Sumatranski cultures in many respects thanks to the fact that once through these lands the road of spices ran. Many dishes contain several cultural influences at once that gives to Malaysian cuisine the identity. 
a cuisine of Malaysia has the greatest similarity to cuisines of Singapore, Brunei and Philippines. Culinary traditions, dishes and ways of their preparation often differ from state to state. As well as in other countries of the region, as one of the main products in Malaysian cuisine rice acts. The most popular traditional dish on the basis of rice is pes. The rice made together with coconut milk. Moves usually with fried anchovies, nut, a cucumber, hard boiled egg and sharp paste from chili pepper, known as sambat. Often pes give also with a meat dish for this purpose to make food of more nourishing. Quite similar with pes, the dish is pes on, popular on the east coast of peninsular Malaysia. Other important component along with rice are the noodles popular not only among local Chinese, but also among other ethnic groups. In view of sea position of the country, fish and seafood dishes are widespread. Beef is the most popular meat among Muslims. Among not Muslims also pork is widespread. Within a year Malaysia it celebrate very many holidays. Some of them are founded at the federal level, and some the governments of separate states. Besides, observance of holidays depends on specific ethnic and religious group. Nevertheless, the main holidays of each group were announced by state. One of the main holidays is the Independence Day. Hari Merdeka. Celebrated on August 31 in the memory of Declaration of Independence by the Malayan Federation in 1957. Other important public holiday, the Day of Malaysia celebrated on September 16 in memory of Federation of 1963. Other national holidays include the Labor Day on May and the birthday of the King the first week of June. Also the main Islamic holidays are widely celebrated. Eid al-Fitr, Hari Raya Puasa, Eid al-Ada, Hari Raya Hagi, and Maulid al Nabi, Maulid al-Rasul. Chinese celebrate the Chinese New Year and other main traditional festivals. Indians celebrate the Diwali, Tipusam and other Hindu festivals. Christians celebrate Christmas, Easter, etc. Ethnic groups of the east of Malaysia widely celebrate also a harvest holiday. Kavadayak. Despite ethnic and religious accessories of the most part of holidays, the main of them are the general and are often noted also by representatives of other ethnic groups of the country. In the system of electronic Massachusetts media the leading place is borrowed by the Radio and Television of Malaysia, State Corporation. Rita. It is accountable to the Ministry of Information which coordinates activity of all state institutes of Massachusetts media. The reference point of her existence is considered on April 1, 1946 when the Department on Broadcasting was created and the transfers on average waves to start Radio of Malaya. Since 1963, Radio of Malaysia. In 1950 it on average wave starts English language radio station the Blue Network. Nowadays, Tracks FM. Now at Radio of Malaysia of six national radio stations, Radio Classic, Tracks FM, Asyik FM, Nasional FM, AI FM, Minal FM, 22 regional radio stations. Besides, since February 15, 1963 there is Radio Voice of Malaysia, which conducts transfers on abroad in eight languages. 
Arab, Malayan, English, Indonesian, Chinese, Burmese, Thai, Thai. Of 168 hours in a week. The musical radio station, Classic Nacional. National Classics. Is popular. Telecasts are hosted since December 28, 1963. The call of television appeared on December 28, 1978. There are two channels. TV-1 and TV-2. The number of transmitting stations 131, volume of transfers minus 206 hours a week. 126 hours of TV minus 1 and 80 hours of TV minus 2. On June 1, 1984, the first private channel, TV minus 3, with 24 transmitting stations, which since August 31, 1997, conducts the round the clock broadcasting, is created and covers 96% of the population of the country. On July 1, 1995 in the capital and its vicinities the fourth Metrovision channel serving about 3.3 million TV viewers took effect. National News Agency, Burnama founded in 1968. The government resolution of May 1, 1984 it is given the exclusive right to distribute information of foreign news agencies is a member of the Organization of News Agencies of the Countries of Asia and the Pacific Ocean. ONA has offices in each state, foreign bureaus on a constant basis in Singapore, Jakarta, Hanoi, Stringers in Washington, London, Tkate, Melbourne, Tokyo and Delhi. Fifty-six newspapers. 14 in Malay, 12 in English, 18 on Chinese, 4 on Tamil, 4 on Japanese and 4 multilingual. And periodical are issued. 959 in Malay, 495 in English, 255 on Chinese, 62 on Tamil and 30 on Japanese. Since 2006 there is a quarterly theatrical magazine, Piantis. Scene which editor is the famous poet of Rakimidin Zachariah. The largest newspaper syndicates are News Straits of the Times de Press. 1961 Publishing five daily New Straits of the Times, Burita Harian, Business of the Times, Melly Mail, Harian Metro and four Sunday newspapers. New Sandy, Burrito Mingu, Sandy Mail, Akat Subway. With a general circulation over one. Five million copies in eight magazines and also Utis and Melayu. Where caught? 1938. Who is releasing two daily? Utis and Malaysia, in Latin, Utis and Melayu, on an Arbitza. And one Sunday, Mingwin Malaysia. The newspaper with a general circulation about 700,000 copies in 10 magazines. Among other influential newspapers, Nanyang Shangbao, 145,000. Sinchu Jibe, 210,000. Tamil Dinatsan. 30,000 Zonguo Ba 110,000 His old with Sunday number Sandy Star Circulation of 170,000 Licenses for printing editions were updated till 2012 annually Since 1974 exists Malaysian Also far Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.